Next, we have Mirjan Hippolito from Angeles City. Hi, Mirjan. Hi, Sir Voltaire. Hi, everybody. I'm Mirjan Hippolito. Yes, it's Mirjan and not Mirjan. I'm 24 years old from Angeles City. I currently work as a writer on financial markets, but aside from the serious job that I have, I'm actually a social butterfly. I love to have fun and I love to make conversation with others. And aside from that, I also have a part of me that just likes reading books and cooking because I'm a vegetarian and I'm the only one in the family who's a vegetarian. So yes, uh, I don't have a choice. And I also have an inclination to baking because I love bread. <laughs> That's just about me. Your first question is, you're going on a 14 hour plane ride. Which celebrity would you like sit, to sit next to? It would definitely be Robert Pattinson because he is my childhood crush. I watched his films, especially The Twilight, and um, I just love that he is not only beautiful on the inside, but he is he also has a purpose. He he also knows how to sing. He has a soulful voice. So it's definitely Robert Pattinson. What do you think your generation will be remembered for? My generation will be remembered for their ability to use our voices and um, the the collective action that we have in order to call for uh, for greater action on very relevant issues. Right now, millennials are are very aware of what is happening in the society, and that is exactly what we are going to be remembered. How has the pandemic challenged you? Oh. To be honest, it was very challenging for me, especially that I lost my job, my dream job. I was a flight attendant before, but it also opened so much opportunities for me. Right now, I currently work as a writer and I never thought that I could be a writer, but the pandemic made me a writer. And I, that's just something that I'm very thankful about. Thank you so much, Mirhan. I am a Virgo and the epitome of a Virgo at that which means I'm obsessed with being organized and solving problems and nurturing the growth of those around me. Fun fact, you will never find anyone with a better memory than me, whether it's your birthday, your phone number, or what I had for Christmas lunch in 2012, you best believe I will never forget it. Victoria, would you rather be an Olympic gold medalist or Miss Universe? That's a hard question because either way you are bringing so much pride to your country. But for me, I would have to say I would rather be Miss Universe because the the prestige that lasts with Miss Universe is so much stronger than what lasts with an Olympic athlete in my opinion. And with Miss Universe, you only have to do it once and you bring so much pride to your country. Whereas with being an Olympic medalist, you have to keep improving. Every year you have to do better and better. So for me, yeah, I think I'd go with Miss Universe, but also because... Now, global warming has caused dramatic climate changes worldwide. As a beauty queen, how will you help in protecting our environment? It starts with the changes that you make in your own personal life and then extending that and using the platform that we have in Miss Universe Philippines to encourage other people to do the same thing. So for example, for me, I have actually converted to being 90% vegan because I know that animal agriculture um, contributes to so much uh, of the issues that climate change causes. And so even that minor change, I know I'm contributing to such a large issue and I know that I can use my platform to encourage other people to do the same. How has the pandemic challenged you? Above all else, the pandemic has challenged me in a way that has made me both stronger and more independent. I spent the first year of the pandemic in New Zealand and had the privilege of having that safety and security, but I still chose to sacrifice all of those things and relocate to the Philippines in January. And if there's anything that that journey's taught me, it's that you might need to make some sacrifices along the way and you might need to give up on so many things and let go of so many things in your life, but you should never let anything, not even a worldwide pandemic, get in the way of your dreams. Thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you so much, too. <laughs> now we have Beatrice Luigi Gomez from Cebu City. Hello, Bea. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Beatrice Luigi Gomez. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Cebu City. I love sports and my favorite game is volleyball. And when I have a free time, I go to the beach and I do scuba diving. And when I want to spice up my workouts, I 
do a few rounds of boxing and I do most of these things with my girlfriend, Kate. We've been together for six years, going seven in a few months. And in the height of the pandemic last year, we adopted a Pusang Pinoy and we named him after a chocolate bar. His name is Twix and I'm very obsessed with my cat. Bea, if you had the opportunity to live for 200 years, would you do it? If I had the opportunity to live for 200 years, I would definitely do it. In just a few years time, we, we try to crunch everything that we can to be able to do a lot of things and imagine the things that we can do if we live for 200 years. So I definitely will. Do you think that being a role model gives the people the right to know everything about your personal life? I believe they only need to see the goodness in me and not literally everything, especially not my personal life, but they just have to filter out the things that they can learn from. Lastly, how has the pandemic challenged you? The pandemic really did challenge, especially my mental health in the past uh, year and this year. I struggled a lot and I wanted to overcome all of those weaknesses, especially my social anxiety. I had overcome it in Binibining Cebu. And when we were in a lockdown, I was forced to uh, retract from society again. And now I'm glad to be able to be in front of everyone again through Miss Universe Philippines. Thank you so much, Bea. Thank you. Now we have Steffi Rosa Barastri from Cebu province. Hi, Maayong Adlao. I'm Steffi Rose Pearson Abirastri, proudly representing Cebu Province. So things that you should know about me is that I'm an island girl. So I really enjoy swimming with the fishes. I even saw a pregnancy horse. And at the same time, I swam together with treasure sharks. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Aside from that, I love, love visiting the farm. And I even vaccinated thousands of chicks. And lastly, I'm a Sinaloa dancer and a woman of God. So that's it about me. Thank you so much. So Steffi, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your beauty and why? For me, I rate my beauty of, of course, 10. I'm really blessed at what God has given me and also my parents because of that. For me, beauty is about being comfortable with your own skin. Like knowing and accepting who you are. For me, that's really beautiful. And beauty is skin deep. It's not just about the physique, but it's what's really in here. For me, that's beautiful. That's why I rate myself 10. Thank you. Do you think there should be stricter censorship on social media because of widespread misinformation, defamation, and cyberbullying? For me, I totally agree with that. With now me as a social media person, as a queen dera, queen plus dera, I've always been into social media. And it's really important for me to filter what I post and what I share. And now people are taking advantage of the disadvantages of social media. Like we have to remind ourselves and put a borderline for us not to hurt other people. And remind that they, to make use of the social media the way it is designed. How has the pandemic challenged you? Okay. On this pandemic, I've encountered so many problems, but I rose up and stand with this challenge. With this pandemic, I learned so many things like the value of communication. Before, I never really asked someone, how are you? How are you doing? But with this pandemic, people mean so much to me. That's why with this pandemic, communication, life and time itself is so important for me. Thank you. Thank you, Steffi. Thank you so much.